melody for most people is the defining feature of a piece of music. It's the tune. Technically, it's a sequence of single tones that move up or down in a contour with a defined beginning and end point that's the major focus of the listener's attention. When discussing melody, you'll want to focus on things like the intervals between the notes. These can be common stepwise motion or repetition, like do to re, or larger leaps like do to sol. There's also the range, which is usually very wide for instrumental pieces, but narrower for vocal music and really, really narrow for most pop music. There's also the style of the melody. If it's conjunct, generally stepwise motion and not a lot of space between the notes, or disjunct. Everything's all over the place in terms of pitch and spacing. Terms used to describe melody usually are attempting to look at the character. Is it lyrical and smooth? Angular and harsh? Shifting, morphine, turning, or something else? What it's not, however, is a story that the composer is telling. I've read a lot of responses about how this melody is about pink ponies floating on clouds on a sunny day. It's not. Ever. That is a subjective association, not analysis, and will change depending on who's listening to the piece. We all hear things from a different perspective based on our frames of reference, prior knowledge, personal tastes, and cultural backgrounds. So with melody in particular, it's really important to just stick to the facts as presented in the music and avoid free association, or worse yet, personal opinion. Here's a quick example of a melody. The Swan from Saint-Saëns' Carnival of the Animals. Take a listen and think about how you would describe this to another person. 